Simon says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to insert a watermark in Word. Watermark is a piece of text which is superimposed onto a document in a transparent way that does not hinder the readability of the document. In this video, let us see how to insert a watermark in Word and customize them. Let us first insert a default watermark. To insert a watermark, navigate to Design. Under the Page Background section, click on the drop-down from Watermark. The drop-down from the Watermark option houses a couple of watermarks by default under different sections. You can click on the watermark you want depending on your needs and they will instantly be added to your document. In case you're not satisfied with the available options, you can choose and add a watermark in a custom way. To add a custom watermark, navigate to Design Main Menu. Click on the Custom Watermark option from the Watermark dropdown. This opens up a printed watermark dialog box. In this dialog box, you can either select the option to insert a picture watermark or add a text watermark. If you want to add a picture watermark, click on the Picture Watermark radio button in the printed watermark dialog box. This enables the option to add a picture. To add the image, click on the Select Picture button. This shows you three ways you can add pictures. In this case, let us use the Add Image from the local drive. Navigate to the file location, select the image you want to add, and click on Insert. Change the scaling of the image. And check the checkbox for the washout option if you want to lighten the watermark even further. If you want to edit or change the watermark image again, navigate to the Design tab. From the Watermark drop-down, select the Custom Watermark option. You can also add any text watermark to your Word document using the Custom Watermark option. Click on the Text Watermark radio button. This enables the option to enter the text as a watermark and customize them. When you add a text watermark in Word, there are several customization options such as language, text, font, size, color, and layout available in addition to adding the text. You can use a combination of the options to create the perfect watermark for your document. To move a watermark in Word, first enable the header and footer edit mode by double-clicking on the header or footer section of a page. Now scroll down and click on the watermark. This enables the anchor points around the watermark that helps you to move, resize, and rotate the watermark. Once you have resized and moved the watermark to your desired location, you can close the header and footer section either by clicking on the Close Header and Footer button or by double-clicking anywhere on the page. Finally, if you feel there is no need for a watermark in your document, you can remove the watermark in the same way you enabled them. Navigate to Design. Under the Watermark drop-down, click on the Remove Watermark button. This removes the watermark from your document in an instant. That is all, everyone. In this video, we saw how to insert a watermark into Word, either as a default watermark or as a custom picture or text watermark. You can select the watermark and customize them based on your preference. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.